Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you the benefits of MP3 tag. I found this several years ago, and I have been using it since. It's an excellent tool in regards to the following problem. Let's assume you got a lot of MP3 music files, audiobooks, um, language books, etc., etc. You have them on your phone, and when you open your mp3 player app on your phone you can't see any of any of the audio it's difficult for you to navigate through the files to get to the various uh, music especially if you've created or copied the mp the the files from a cd and so forth so what this does is let me just explain briefly when you go and you open your uh, mp3 player on a on your phone or in the car playing through the through the phone it's the title that pops up now in a lot of instances in fact in most instances this isn't formatted correctly so you won't know what it is it will just be basically it could be a blank it could be any form of uh any form or process of 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 a, of a title put in there but it might not be the, the correct thing so if we go over here, here is the file name. That's when you open it on the computer or if you go to look for the actual file itself. So the, the plan, the strategy, is to put in, obviously, the file names in order and then transfer those into the title. So that's step one that this tool can do. The other step it can do is if we click here and if I can press Control all I'm putting in an artist name, I'm putting in an album, comment, album artist, composer. Now what I do is I basically make them all the same because I don't want to differentiate between an artist or an album. When I go in then to my mp3 player and I want to choose a file, a music file, I usually do it based on album and there we have it all all of the tracks then will be stored on their album uh, now if you wanted to change the artist that's up to yourself I don't do that and um, so for in this instance now I'm, I'm creating I have a CD I have a list of I have a number of CDs um, that are a part of a language course linguaphone and this particular one is in regards to um studying learning german language i've extracted the cd mp3s and then what i'm doing is i'm going to go through and manually create the section so that i can easily navigate as stated at the start um, so this one is already done so let me just go back let me start at one that i have not started yet um, so that is cd3 so if I go here to the book, it's a PDF here of the actual language course, it states that open for this particular lection eight, act, I need to go to CD three, and it's 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 track one on CD three. So if I go back here, here is CD three, and usually what I do is I just copy that folder. And install mp3 tag on I'm using Windows 10 at the moment but it's probably similar to other platforms and if I right click and then choose mp3 tag so that will open up the file in mp3 tag and then from there I press Control all now as you can see the original extracted mp3 files from the CD there's no information there it's all it's all default information which is of no use to me uh, so in that instance what I do is I press control all and the first thing I'm going to do is as I said I'm going to paste in the uh, the artist as I've done here already and I'm happy with that so that's done the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to ascertain what the actual tracks are so as I said, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using a 
German course, Linguophone German course. This is the PDF book. And I want to see what. So this is CD3, which I have open. And this is track one, and that's Lexion 8, Ein Kaufus. So what I do then is I go back here. I know that this is track one. So let me just test it. So if I double click here. Lektion 8. So I know that that is Lexion Act. So I right click, rename. Now be careful, remove is right above it. So click on rename. And then I go in here and I type in my, my title of my lesson. Now again, this can be for music just as well as for anything else. I've used it for audiobooks as well, very well. It's excellent for that, to create an audiobook from a YouTube video. I've used that and it's really, really good. So that's that. So I've typed in that, I press that. Then I press here and I want to transfer this file name into the title because the title, as I stated, is the thing that pops up on your MP3 audio player, on your phone, or if you have your audio connected to your car system. That's the title that pops up. So at the moment it's track one. And what I do is I just go up here, file name to tag. So I press that and I press OK. And as you can see, it's transferred it there. Now you could go through this for the purposes of um, efficiency. You can go through everything. Let me just go to the next um, lesson there. So it's Lexion 10 and that's track 22. So if I go back here, and there is track 22, let's just test it. Lektion 9. There we go, so that is correct. So what I do is I just go in there and do the same thing. So as I said, I type up that. And again, I can go through all of them individually first maybe half of them, a portion of them, and then press, press control all, and then do them together. So file name to tag. So transfer the file name to the tag, and the tag is the title. I press OK. Goes through all of the third tracks, and it transfers them there, as you can see. And that is basically it. So when you transfer then this onto your phone, your MP3 app, audio app, that music app that's on your phone, should be able to find that particular music file or all of your music files and should be able to display as you've outlined here. So again, a very, very excellent tool. It's actually free. I believe it's uh, German based, coincidentally, this is the language here. Um, I believe it is also a freemium product, so you can give a donation. And I think, in terms of the benefits that I've gotten from this, in terms of all of the audiobooks that I've created, all of my music, uh, it is an excellent piece of software. So that is um, basically it. And Thank you. For, no, again, make sure you press save at the end of that. Once you've done all of your your edits and so forth, press save. And that is basically, if I close out of this, there you have then your, um, your music file ready to be transported onto your phone. So that's the end of this video, and I hope it's been of help. Thank you for watching.